Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, and thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Let's grab ourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks. I'm going super adventurous. I did get my nails done this morning. I bought a bottle of water across the road. Um, how cute are these designs? I've got them in red and I've got these that were like <laughs> flowers. Oh, they were really cute for my birthday. So I'm just going to finish my water because I need to stay hydrated because my skin is appalling at the moment. Um, so I need to stay hydrated. Hydration is the key. I am high far. <laughs> I don't even know why. I just felt like I was like powering through. Through the breeze, through the wind, got my nails done. I don't know, spring comes around. It's, the, it's my birthday week this week. It's my birthday on Wednesday and I just, I'm like a child. Get very excited, what can I say? That might be a bit sport brave, but I don't care. I don't get presents, I don't ask for presents and stuff like that, but I just love that we do stuff. So yeah, that is a present in itself, so it's really exciting. Right, I'm gonna have some water. And we're gonna get in with the video. So. Today's video is, I really you've seen if you clicked on it, a super drug haul. So, this girl is in need of a bit of TLC. So, my tan's very patchy and it's sort of like half off now, needs exfoliating. My skin needs a bit of exfoliating, I've got a few patches here. My legs look like they belong to a gorilla rather than me. Also, my bikini line, King Kong's trying to bust out my knit panty liners. Uh, it's basically... I have had um, laser hair removal done. You have to have about eight sessions. I had about three. The best way I can explain it is, is you know when you lose loads of hair after having a baby, you've still got hair, you look like you've got a full head of hair, but it's like half the amount of what you would have. So it's very, very fine, <laughs> not very like full. I've got wispy hairs, but they're still sticking out the sides of my bikini, so I need to sort that out before I go away on Friday for my birthday. Um, so yeah, really excited. I want to get like a bit of prep done and I wanted to get some bits that I needed. So I went in there to get some like little tanning bits, some exfoliating bits, little pamper stuff. This will last me and I do actually need a few little top ups anyway because I've run out of everything. And I like to usually buy it in bulk when they have offers. Um, so then it will last me for a long time and it's actually better value for money. But I've got some really good bits. Um, so first thing I need to do is tint my eyebrows. So I've got the Dye Brow Twin Pack and it's the permanent tint for eyebrows. It lasts for six weeks and you get up to 24 applications in this. This is a jumbo pack. I think this was £7. Um, yeah, it was about £6.99, £7.99. One or the other. I know it was one or the other. Um, so I've got this. So I have had micro like powder brows, not microblading, like powder brows on my eyebrows. Um, so all of this, none of this is eyebrow pencil or anything, that's that. But I've just got a bit of brown mascara on the actual hairs themselves because they're a bit blonde over the top and it can make it look a bit grey. Um, so I'm going to dye the actual hairs and then they'll be perfect. So I've got some of that. That will last me the whole year, if not longer. I know you're not meant to keep it longer than that. Probably about two, three years worth in there. So I've got that. I also got, as I've now got more blonde stuff in my hair, I need to use a heat protectant. So even though I only use heat like maybe like once, maybe twice a week, I do need to get a heat protectant on it. So I got this Aussie SOS Heat Saviour Leave-On Spray and it's with Tasmanian Pepper Leaf. I haven't actually smelt it, you know. Oh, that smells lovely, really fresh. Oh, really, really nice. Um, so that was six pound, which I thought was a bit pricey, but obviously that's gonna last me which people might think, Rosie, that's not pricey for a leave-in spray. I know that, and it's, they're really good for your hair, Aussie company. But I just thought, once I've obviously had my hair washed, put this in it, before I dry it, that'd be good. Um, so that was six pound. I'm gonna let the dog in, because as soon as I got home, I let the dog out for a walk, like in the garden. Come in, mate. Yeah. Come, baby. Come in, 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 baby. Sorry, guys. You come chill with me now. So I've got some heat protectant spray. As you will notice, I'm going to lift the camera a little bit. That bit better? You can see my little weird roots. Um, so my hair is really greasy, as you can see, it's sort of clumping together and it needs a wash. And I've got like little sweaty curls at the front. <laughs> Very nice. But what it was, I got up really early this morning, it was pouring down a rain on the school run and I just sort of thought, do you know what, what is the point? I'm going to get my nails done and then I'm going to put a hair mask on, exfoliate and everything ready for tan. So I might as well go out like this. 
And you might think, why have you come on filming like it? Because I actually don't care. So I also got a little hair mask as well. For oh, little lids come off this. So I just got the super drug only, the coconut oil with argan hair and skin, naturally softened skin and tames and nourishes hair. Directions for you. So you can use this as like a put it in when your hair's still wet and then rinse it off after about three minutes. But I'm gonna do it the other way. Apply it to the ends of the hair, massage into the scalp, put a shower cap or a towel over your hair and cover up, cover and leave overnight. That's what I'm gonna do tonight. So you get 125 mils of this, and this is only a couple pound. So it got the, oh, where is that? Oh, £2.49 for that. And obviously, you're only going to need like a little bit. That's a good, like, I would say it's a good, like, oh, it's very, like, waxy. You're going to have to break that down to get that. I would say that's a good year supply of hair masks because you're going to need to do that maybe, like, once a month. Good old hair mask. Maybe you need to do it more. I don't know. But I wouldn't put it on too much. I don't like to mess up my hair too much. Got that. I also got some of this. So I've got this cherry blossom. It smells really nice. So I love an exfoliating scrub, but I find the butter, butter scrubs are sometimes a bit too much on my skin. So sometimes I get psoriasis on my knees. It's since literally last year, this time last year, I had a spider bite on my knee and then it just wouldn't go. And it ended up swelling up. It looked like a cigar, but it actually looked like a nipple. I'm not gonna lie. It looked like a breastfeeding nipple. It was big, red, chunky sore thing. And it was really itchy and really sore. And it wouldn't go for ages. So I was like, what is this? Like, why has it gone like that? And it's just a reaction. And then within like about a month, I had like all of these rashes all over me. And it looked like chicken pox at first. I thought I might have even had shingles. My mum was like, no, it's not on your back. And it's on your legs and it's all like near your joints. So I would like go and have a look. It's probably psoriasis. So I went to the doctors and they was like, yeah, it's allergy-led psoriasis. So something's triggered it off. So you, you may get this every year, but it's probably unlikely. It isn't like psoriasis that you've just got. It's been triggered by allergy, like to the insect bite. So I used to be allergic to gnat bites and it used to come up literally like the elephant man with a gnat bite. So I just take antihistamines to stop that from happening. But since then, I'm really cautious of using certain things because I feel like when I had that insect bite, I was using this like scrubbing um, stuff to scrub, like exfoliate my knees to tan. And I remember making it bleed and it felt a bit like sore. And then a couple of days after, then it sort of like went a bit like, you know, crazy with a rash. So I was a bit like, oh, maybe I over exfoliated and made the infection. I don't know what I'd done. Um, but <laughs> what a long, lovely story you got just because I'm showing you a sugar scrub. So this is a 465 mils. This smells lovely. It's got apricot scrub for smoother skin. And this is more of a cream wash rather than like the sugar scrub that's sticky and really, really harsh. So I am gonna wash my hands because I wanna feel the scrubs in these, but there's really lovely scrub bits in it, lots of little scrub beads in this. So it's nice, but it isn't so scrubby that it's gonna feel like you're taking your skin off. Um, so perfect. And actually, I think once I rinse this off, it's got such a smoothing feel. It's probably gonna leave my skin feeling really soft after as well. Let's just rinse it off the hand. And I'm drying my hand with an oven glove because I don't know where the tea towel is. Um, <laughs> it's actually really smooth. It's really nice. Smells amazing as well. And my little scrub was £2.89 for that big scrub. They do have some members prices, but obviously it's free to sign up to be a member. Um, so I think that was the standard price for that. There are some bits in there that are like £5. That if you're a member and you use your members card, you get like two quid. So it's really worth doing. It's completely free to do. Um, so what then? I also got... This is beautiful. So they've got little perfumes in there. They seem to have an offer at the moment. So they've got, the, these are now, these are all du perfume. So these are pure perfume. Pure perfume? <laughs> Cause I remember before my mum was like, I was like, oh yeah, it's a nice one. It's all du toilette. And my mum was like, yeah, it's French for toilet water. It's basically water. It's just water. <laughs> I don't think it's for toilet water. I think she was trying to trick me, but it is just water. Um, so but this is a perfume base, so it lasts a lot longer. If you get a perfume that's Eau de Parfum rather than Eau de Toilette, it will last a lot longer on your skin and it's a better quality. Now, this is 50 mil. They do loads of different ones for 50 mil in there. The bottle's really cute, like glass bottle with a little gold lid. Got a message. Oh, it's the football group chat <laughs> for Archie's football. Um, so, yeah, really, really lovely. But loads of different scents. Um, and these are 50 mils. Now, these are originally... 
I think these are $8.99 originally, but they are on offer for $5.99 at the moment. But you can buy two of the 50 mil for the original price of $8.95. So you can get 100 mils for $8.95. Or you can get two of the 100 ml bottles that they have in there for 11.95, two big massive bottles of it. And it's, they smell amazing. So these are the artist scent at the, you know, they just all come in these white packaging. Um, and this is the purple one. This is the exotic musk. Now I like a musky smelling perfume. So I like, so the, for reference, if you know what alien smells like, that's what I always wear. And it's got like a really sickly sweet, but kind of musky tone to it. On my skin, it smells really nice. So this, oh, I'll just spray it on my wrist. So this exotic musk doesn't smell like alien, but it's got that little undertone of it. I'd actually say it reminds me of Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker slash with alien. It's like got a really nice florally scent with the musk undertone. So I got this one, the exotic musk. Um, the vanilla husk one, it come like with a little peach packaging on, look really nice. Um, and there was, um, and I, so I smelled that, that was really nice. And then there was another one which was um, passion fruit something. That was an orange one. That was beautiful. But I thought, no, stick to what you know, because I think sometimes certain scents smell way, some way on one person and way on another person. So I got this one and I thought this would be really nice. But what a little bargain for a perfume as well. It smells beautiful. So I've got that. There's loads of little scents in there. They've got like fresh scents in there. They've got the floral ones. I'm just not keen on them kind of ones. I'm more into like a, if it feels like it's going to choke you out and it's very rich smelling, I like it. Like, I like Dior Poison. That's my other smelling perfume. So, you know, if you like a little, like, fresh scent, then maybe they're not the ones for you, but they do have fresher ones in there. Now, I've got the bad boy of all creams. Now, my nano used to use Astral Cream, and it's intensive face and body moisturiser. Now, sometimes you cannot be the goldie oldies. You just can't. Like, you can go and spend fortunes on all this stuff for these body creams, and actually you'll find that these are the best ones. Now, they have a... Cream out at the moment, I think it's called Lumiere or something, and it is like £240 for a tub this size, right? And everyone's going mad for it, everyone's going crazy. Then one lady, she was on Instagram, I scrolled through it, it was her stories, and she was doing dupes of designers that she uses. Can't think of her name, I don't actually follow her, but I want to follow her. You know like when you're scrolling quickly and you're like, right, I need to remember her name, so I need to, I remember my friend... I think it was Sarah followed her, so I'll have a look at who she's following to find her. Um, and if I do, then I'll pop it in here. I'll find her, I'll pop it in. So she's like 50, she's let her hair go completely grey, and she dresses amazing, like she's this funky, cool woman. But she loves designer items, but now and again she'll try a dupe. People are say, oh, this is a dupe, so she'll try it. And anyway, she's got the Lumiere cream, and she had a look. Now they have the exact same ingredients as the original Astral Cream. And I paid for my Astral Cream. <laughs> I paid, bear in mind, this is dearer than it ever has been, for £5.49, but it is a big tub, it's the 200 mils. And I'm sorry, but look at the whip on that. That is so thick and creamy. If you need moisture, I don't put this on my face. I used, um, one sec. I thought it was going to make it cut out then. Sorry. I keep getting messages, but sometimes if I get so many messages come through, it stops the video. So I'm like, I thought I might as well not speak if it's going to, if it's going to cut out. So anyway, so I use my ACO skincare. So I've been using that for a while now and absolutely love it. I've got the hand cream over here. So this is the brand. And I've done a little collaboration. This obviously isn't a add on nothing, but I got collaborated with them on my Instagram. Um, and this was, what, three, four months ago? Love it, fell in love, it's reasonably priced, really good skincare, but I use that on my face. Anyway, but for my body, for my body, I thought I'd get this. This is just lustrous, lustrous, that's a new word. Is that a real word? It's luxurious with a luster to it, it's lustrous. And that smell, that proper smell just takes me back. It just reminds me of being a kid. And like, you know, when you were at stay at your nan's house, my nan used to like go, go on, do you want some of my cream? And I put some of her creams on. And then she always had like Declior and stuff for her face. It has that spa smell, but astral for her body. And I used to put on one of my granddad's oversized t-shirts. My little granddad now, he'd probably have to wear one of my t-shirts to be baggy on him. But I was little, I used to put one of his t-shirts on, put some of this on and be in a lovely, lovely fresh sheet. So I'd stay around there. It just brings it back. But that is an exact replica dupe of the 250 pound, really expensive cream. Don't know if I'm saying it right, but you will know what I'm talking about. If you're into makeup and that, 
and creams. You'll know what one I'm talking about. And it's absolutely disgusting. And a few other people said the Nivea cream is a very similar dupe for it as well. But Astral, hard to beat it. I got that. Um, also as well, I've got some setting spray. So I was using the Iconic Illuminating Setting Spray. And I love it. But now we're transitioning into summer. I'm a little bit sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> the sweaty look on my forehead so I thought do you know what and then what happens is, is like the, the dried powder gets cut, stuck in my creases and then I get a little bit greasy and I end up with like these little lines it's like little makeup lines so I thought I'll get some setting spray so I've got the hyaluronic fix it's nice it still keeps your makeup dewy but it isn't going to be too shiny with the illuminators in it that I just look like a, I literally dipped my head in a chip pan um so this is hyaluronic fix this is a revolution this is six pound um so I got this and I do swear by this I used to wear this when I was pregnant with Alfie so he's eight now I used to get the sport one when it first come out I used to use that and it used to stay on all day so when I'm like Bear in mind, all my older three children, they were like three under three. So I was like that crazy mum of a three-year-old, two-year-old and a, a one-year-old. And I'd be like walking around. No, one, one-year-old, yeah. And I'd be, no, three-year-old, one-year-old and a newborn. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, three-year-old. Look at me losing track. I actually looked at their baby pictures the other day and I was just like, oh my God. How quickly have they all got so big? And how did I cope? <laughs> time but yeah just, and i used to put that on and my makeup would last all day when i'm running at the park after him you know endless nappy changes potty training screaming tantrums didn't break a sweat with that bad boy stuff but this is the hyaluronic one now because i'm staying away for the night i also oh i've got a dupe got a dupe i think i'm going to show you that in a minute i also got some to go in my bag i've got some handy cleansing wipes 51k love having these when i go to london I absolutely feel grotesque, everything I touch. Now, I'm not into over sanitizing my hands. I believe germs are good for you. That's my own personal, you know, experience on it. I don't feel like I need to sanitize. I was really trying to keep back with the sanitizing when all the, the stuff was going on. I would obviously not touch things, but I would make sure, you know, I weren't sanitizing over the top because I like to have a good immune system. I do believe in that kind of stuff. So, however, when you're going on the underground or you're going in taxis and stuff, it's absolutely grotesque. You feel like you can see the dirt on your hands. Sometimes I've had moisturiser on my legs and my legs have gone grey where the dust, dirty dust has stuck to my legs. So I keep some little handy wipes. These are 51p, aloe vera, and these are antibacterial. So these are better. I just don't like hand sanitizer. I'd rather wait, not sanitise every two seconds, but then just like not touch anything to not contaminate anyone else, but then just go wash my hands because I just can't stand the feel of sanitizer and it really dries your hands out. Anyway, I also got some Panadol. Now, sometimes, which is really weird, <laughs> I'm gonna sound like I'm a hippie. She drinks Pepsi Max, she eats takeaways and cakes and loads of refined sugars, but she goes to London and she gets a little bit sick from the pollution in the air. <laughs> like so we moved out of London um when I was really small and then we moved out into Essex and then we ended up moving into really further out in Essex and we're like near coastal now and there's a lot of sea air I find when I go to London I always get headaches and I feel like it is the pollution which sounds so ridiculous and people would be like Rosie shut up but genuinely I get such bad headaches it might be where there's a lot of noise going on there's a lot of smells a lot of things and I just get migraines really bad so to nip it in the bud quickly before it turns into a full-grown migraine I get these Panadol Extra these paracetamol and caffeine these are amazing these that you can literally snap some out and pop them in your bag I don't like having full packets in my bag so I put them in the medical cupboard and just put them in my bag the reason I don't is because in case one of the kids ever went from my bag and took them it just frightens me so if I can just pop two in there then I know that I've only ever got two in my bag they're just really handy let's just pop them out there take them with you because I know I'll get a headache I always do and then I'm going to be spending five pounds for some paracetamol in, in London central London got those I've got some um big graders Big, big readers, got some big readers, got some big razors. These are the twin lady ones. This is always annoys me. Paying pink tax. So they have the exact same razors in the orange for men. I didn't have any in stock today because I think people have cocked onto. It's like literally a third of the price just buying an orange handle. We get taxed because we're women and we like things to look pretty, but that's rather annoying. Just tax us the same, you know? It's called pink tax. Look it up. So I also got, I'm coming across as a real feminist today, and I? Like hippie. Yeah, I don't like to sanitize my hands. I like natural germs. I feel like my immune system. Yeah, I'm drinking some water that I got 
from Greg's at the same time as I got a little sausage roll. <laughs> I didn't actually eat today. Um, yeah, I just, you know, got my little paracetamol because the, the air makes me a little bit hypey. Right, so I got this. Now this is from The Revolution. Now this was four pounds, I think. that yeah five pound five pound now this is i think a dupe for my charlotte tilbury so since i've been wearing the charlotte tilbury blusher i have been getting so many compliments but also so many people asking where it's from now i bought it in the sale in the black friday sale i love it i go in really heavy with it but it is getting to the time now where i'm going to need to rebuy it and i just can't justify spending that when it's not in the black friday sale i should have stocked up i will stock up at christmas unless this is a dupe so however i saw this and this is in the color flushing for you so they've got like a bright pink they've got like an orangey coral color and they've also got a very pastely rose pink as well but i thought this color is really nice it's very similar to the um blush gasm one from charlotte tilbury and it is yet again a liquid um blusher it's got a bit of a shimmer in it it's called flushing for you and i wanted to try it yeah it's almost identical in color and it's liquid that's really lovely that's actually really nice and it's also got that tiny tiny bit of shimmer in it as well which is really nice i would say that's very similar to the color i've got on today actually and i really love it and actually five pound for that for the same sort of size and then you put on, all you have to use a brush with the Charlotte Tilbury one anyway, even though it has the little foam applicator, just leave circles, then you end up using your fingers and it just spreads everywhere. So I use a little brush, put it onto the brush from the applicator and then dab it on otherwise it just goes too much. So yeah, I got that for a fiver from the Revolution. How good is that? A little Charlotte Tilbury dupe. We'll see how long it lasts, but I think it should be fine because um, Revolution makeup's amazing. And then lastly, I just got some of my tan. So it kills me when I buy tan, especially when I'm going out. So I do like to get the Bondi Sands tan. Um, so I like to use the liquid gold one. So it's a little bit of a golden tan. Really like that. Feel really comfortable with that. You normally can get one off of about ten pound, and in Superdrug you normally get buy one get one half price, which they do at the moment. So for fifteen pound you can get two bottles, which works at about seven pound fifty per bottle, which I think is reasonable for tan. It's going to last you for a good few months. However. I love Sienna X tan. I absolutely love this. This is the sort of tan where, you know, when you see the girls and you think they look like they've just got back from Dubai for a whole year. There's that lovely, deep, dark brown. There's no orange tones in it whatsoever. Now, I just want to be really brown <laughs> for my birthday. So I bought these. Now they are buy one, get one half price. I thought I may as well because these are expensive and it really annoys me because it's just tan. I should just embrace the self paleness. But I just feel like sometimes when you're wearing like really vibrant colors, when I'm at my birthday, I like white dresses. I just like to have a tan. That's my own little thing. I know people would be like, Rosie, you speak about confidence. And I am super confident. And half the time I'll come on the camera with no tan on in me, underwear and stuff, doing my try ons. It doesn't bother me. But I do feel like it's an extra layer of feeling nice when I have a little tan. And I don't want to go on some beds and I don't really like being out in the sun too long because I am really freckly. And I do like, I do burn as well. So I like to just fake it. And um, so I've got this Express Q10 Tinted Self Tan. Um, so I love this because you can have this on for just an hour and then wash it off. So I normally leave it on for about two hours so you end up with a medium tan. I have left this on before for four hours plus. <laughs> I'll have to get a picture one day and show you. So <laughs> I looked incredible. People thought I'd been on holiday. Like my face, my body looked amazing. My toes are really curly. So like I've got <laughs> my toes kind of like, they're not curly, but they're like, they're a bit curly. You know, like they're just a bit wavy, my toes. Um, <laughs> and my toes look like actual what's it because <laughs> i didn't really go in the insides properly they just look like actual what's it with this this is strong stuff this is 22 pound a tin which i just think is ridiculous but however that's been said i bought two bottles so that it can be what's that 40 no 30 so 15 pound a tin it works out then so no more than what you'd pay if it, you was buying bondi sands really if it weren't on offer um so it worked out 15 pound a tin and these will last me now for the year because these are just be special occasion tans um but i would definitely recommend this if you're going on holiday and you want a holiday tan 
this is amazing but do go in gentle with this stuff because it is deadly it's potent you really do need to do your exfoliating and your little bit of moisturizer on your elbows and your knees before you put this on because it is strong and i would recommend as well you don't need to buy really expensive like tanning brushes for your face and you like decolletaging your feet and your hands just get a big face brush, you know, like makeup brush, like a bronzing brush, like a big chunky one. Use that, that's what I use. I use one of my old ones of them and then put it on and it is really nice. So yeah, one hour is light. Two, light is probably a very similar colour to what the dark is in Bondi Sands. It's quite dark. Um, two hours medium, three hours deep. It's very profound, <laughs> it says. And then four plus hours is dark. So it has all little tips on the back on how to get a really nice tan. So I've got those. And that has been my little haul, but obviously these will last me for the year now. I've stocked up now. This will be me. I've still got one bottle left of Bondi Sands tan. I don't really tan. I probably tan like once every three weeks. And I let it just gradually come off and then be pale for like a week and a half, two weeks. And then I'll tan again at the end of the month. That's kind of my little routine. Um, and then I've got my razors. I need to shave so bad. I'm going to go and shave. But that is my little haul, guys. Hopefully, we're in a little haul. It's quite a... It's a I won't tell Gary I've got all this. This is my yearly stuff. Um, so, hopefully, you enjoyed this little haul, guys. I've been Rosie Henshaw. See you later. Take care. Bye.